obviously wind concerns, chemical concerns, and the fire. At this point, we're obviously under investigation looking to see what caused the fire. That'll be coming. This is a plant dealing with biofuels. Um, beyond that, I don't have a lot of information, but they were uh, working with biofuels and that type of uh, situation. So obviously there are some chemicals in the building. That was our concern. We looked at hazmat, uh, different type of chemicals that would be in that building that we knew about and need to prepare for some that we don't know about. And so that's why we have so many people here with fire. Uh, with that, also we are looking at air quality. We're looking at any consideration of runoff because when, when you have that involved, you put that much water, it can run into the ground. So all those things are being monitored at this time. Um, at this time, like I said, there are no fatalities. We hope it stays that way. But we do know that there was several injuries, uh, from minor injuries to more uh, concerning injuries that could be more life-threatening. This is a large fire. This is a large event when you look at an explosion that happens in a building. So uh, we'd rather send more people uh, and more units to a situation like this and make sure that we can maintain it, control it.